Good morning. So we're on Monday morning and we're live now on Facebook and on YouTube. Hope you are all well. So if you've managed to find us, give us a wave and maybe just put a comment on how you're feeling this morning. Maybe it's yoga for your first time. Maybe you've done it with me lots before. So just give us a wave. Let us know how you're feeling. And then we can start. So, oh, hi, Lisa on YouTube. <laughs> you can see the comments on there. That's great. So, yeah, just give us a wave. Let us know how you're feeling. Remember, in yoga, all emotions are welcome. And hopefully, the yoga will help us to feel better, whatever we're feeling this morning. So, feeling feeling a bit sad or a bit um, tired, um, then hopefully the yoga will make us feel really good today, not just physically, but emotionally as well. So it's really important. Hello, Emily. Oh, for Amelia, Amelia B. Hello. <laughs> First time this morning. Great. Hello, Millie and Baxter. Feeling good today. That's great. All right. There's another hi there, is there? Hi, Robin, Northern. Hello. Island <laughs> from Ireland, maybe, or maybe that's her name. Good morning, Julie. We're new but excited. Great, that's really good. Hi, Ava and Maya. First time today. Lots of first times. That's great. Really that's good that we're reaching today. out. So this is Emily and Jacob, and they do the yoga with me. They're not actually key stage. Well, they're key stage two, but they kind of enjoy the key stage one as well. It's kind of good fun. So, hi to Heath. Bit excited. Thank you, Julie. Good morning, everyone. Great. So, there's lots of people on this morning. I'll do, I'll run a little bit through about what yoga is about. So, obviously, yoga is not just good for the body physically, but it's also good for the mind. So, Shimran and Jai, hi, um, and Millie and Charlie, hi. <laughs> Isabel as well. Hi. Okay, so um, there's lots of people joining. Thank you, everybody, for joining. And if I don't mention everybody's name, that I will go through afterwards. Um, so yoga is not just good for your body, to keep your body healthy, your muscles, um, your bones, all your internal organs, all inside you keeps your body healthy. And especially it keeps your lungs healthy where we breathe. So it's really good for our bodies, keeps us strong, and flexible in an equal balance, but it also keeps our mind healthy, our brains healthy, okay? So it's really good to help our focus and concentration. So doing it before our learning today. So if you're learning at home, then do a bit of yoga first and it'll help you to focus and concentrate and keep nice and calm when you're learning and also a good positive state of mind. So you're like, I'm not gonna give up, I'm gonna do this maths or whatever it is that you struggle. Okay, so it's good for your mind. And it's also good for your spirit inside here. So what we mean by that is that joy inside, okay? So that happiness that we all have when we're following the path that we need to follow, when we're being who we should be, who we are, who we're born to be, yeah? Okay, so it's a little bit of a rundown of what yoga is about. We're gonna get on our mats now. If you don't have a mat, then don't worry. Um, what you might need to grab for the relaxation at the end is a blanket and maybe a teddy or something like that to cuddle up with. And then maybe you can cuddle up with um, a brother or sister or a parent or somebody that else is in the house if they want to join you. You can cuddle up on your own with your teddy. So if you want to get a blanket and a toy now, then please do. And then we're gonna start on the mat and we're gonna start our yoga, okay? If you don't have a mat, doesn't matter, just sitting on the floor will be fine. Okay, so. I did just run through about what yoga is good for. So we're gonna go through that again at the beginning of every yoga session we do this, okay? But before we start, it's really important to sit up straight. So we're gonna play that now, okay? You're gonna go small and hang your head. And tall. Small and tall. And small, tall. Okay, let's play again. We're going to put the other leg in front now, crossing our legs, and we're going to go floppy and straight and floppy and straight. And one more time, ready? Floppy and straight. 
Well done. So yoga is good for my body. Give yourselves a big hug this morning. See if you can touch those shoulder blades, the bony bits here sticking out like that. Giving yourself a big hug, maybe even a bit of a squeeze. Yoga's good for our minds. So hands here, or fingers either side of your temples, your head. And then soft, slow circles either side of your head. And ask yourself in your head voice, which is your quiet voice, how am I? How am I? And then we say, yoga is good for our spirits. Big arms. Yoga is good for me. Have the other side. Yoga is good for you. And then big arms ready. Yoga is good for everyone. Big wide arms. Well done. So in the morning, lots of yogis and yoginis around the world do sun salutations. And it's basically saying hello to the sun and warming our whole bodies up. So we're going to do that and get our bodies moving, standing up to the top of the mat. Ready. Here we go. Okay. So stand at the top of your mat. And we're going to reach our arms up. Ready? Here we go. Wave to the sunshine, to thank the sunshine, and thank the blessed earth too. Ready? Step one leg back, step one leg back, then the other like so. Float your body down so slow. Lift your snake head high. Now dog tails to the sky. And wiggle it high in the air. Now step one leg back and the other like so. Bring your body up so slow. And again, I'm going to do the other side, ready? Wave to the sunshine, to thank the sunshine, and thank the blessed earth to tickle your toes. And back, ready? Step one leg back, then the other like so float your body down so slow lift your snake head high now dog tails to the sky and wiggle your tail high in the air now step your leg back and the other like so float your body to the sky so slow and now I'll finish in my mountain pose so standing really tall really still reach your fingers down towards the ground and close your eyes and see how still you can be. Imagine that you're a mountain and all of the rain is dripping all over your surface. And the wind is whirling around you. The sun is beating down on you, but you're not moving. You're really still because you are like a mountain. And then we're going to bring our fists together really tightly. Squeeze your fists in. Squeeze your face together. Really, really squeeze your face together. Still with your eyes closed. I'm going to count to three, and you're going to stick your tongue out and spread your fingers and give me a big Okay, ready? One, two, three. One, two, three. Stick that tongue out. Open your eyes. One, two, three, and Okay, and we're going to start our story now. And our story today is quite a popular story. A Squash and a Squeeze by Julia Donaldson, okay? So if you know that story, then give us a wave and let us know if you like this story. It's quite a good, fun story, okay? So we're going to do that with some yoga. So you just have to copy me, okay? 
Up you jump. <laughs> Ready. Once there lived a little old lady. So put your feet together, bend your knees, get your walking stick, hold your back. Oh, my back. And then the other side. A little old lady lived all by herself with a table. So come down to your mat, put your hands behind you, lift your hips. Make a table shape with your body. And some chairs. So standing up with your feet together, bend your knees and sit down in your chair. That's it. And a jug on the shelf. So sit high onto your sit bones, come onto your tiptoes, bring your arms out and lift your feet to make a jug. That's it, well done everybody. A wise old man. So cross your legs, sit up really straight and make your body and your face look really wise. A wise old man heard her grumble and grouse. Oh, like this with your shoulders, up to your ears. Oh, there's not enough room in my house. Keep going with your shoulders up and down, grumbling and moaning. Wise old man, won't you help me please? My house is a squash. Ready? So we're going to do squash. Now this is a bit tricky, so I'm going to talk you through it for a minute. I'm going to come onto one tiptoe. I'm going to bring this leg across. Keep that tiptoe down, though, okay? Then you're going to imagine that you're sitting in a chair, okay? Bring your arms out. And you're going to cross the opposite arm over and give yourself a big hug like this. Okay, so that is a squash. And then we're going to do squeeze, which is the other side. So come up, put that foot down, come onto the other tiptoe, bring it over. And then the other opposite arm comes on top and give yourself a hug like we did at the beginning. Okay, so my house, let's go through that, is a squash and a Squeeze like that, okay? My house is a squash and a squeeze. The wise old man said, There we go. The wise old man said, Hmm, take in your hem. Hmm. Now we're going to do some. Neck tilts like this, so keep your body nice and straight and just bring one ear to your shoulder. Taking my hen? What a curious plan! Well, the hen laid an egg on the fireside rug. Bring your knees up, hug your knees in, tuck your chin in and make sure it's safe for you to come back. Ready? <laughs> Please. And 
again, ready? My house is a squash and a squeeze. Let's get straight to the wise old man. The wise old man said, Hmm. Take in your goat. Ready? Get at the shoulder. Take in my goat. What a curious plan. Well, the goat chewed the curtains. So for this, you want big wide mouth like this. As wide as you can. And you go. Like that, pretending you're chewing those curtains. Okay? Do the goat sounds. And then he kicked out the eggs. So onto our hands and our feet. And we're going to bring our knees up kicking. Ready? Feet! 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 And then he lay down to nibble the table leg. So, sitting with your feet either side of your bottoms, you're going to lie down and have a nibble of the table leg. Ready? And then slowly come up. Well done. The little old lady cried. Glory be! That's it, arms to the sky. Glory be! It was tiny for two. Well, it's titchy for three. The hen pecks the goats. Feet together. Do your hen wings ready? And we're going to peck by bringing our head forwards like this with our chins jutting out like this. Ready? The hen pecks the goats, and the goats got fleas. So bring your legs out in front of you, toes to the sky, and we're going to scratch all the way from our forehead. So gently scratch your forehead all the way down to your cheeks. Scratch your cheeks and scratch your necks. And scratch your shoulders. Get rid of all those fleas. Scratch your chest. All the way down your arms, scratch, 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 all the way to your fingers. Just really gently though, so it feels nice, and then scratch your tummy. Get rid of the fleas on your back, scratch your back, that's always good, scratching your back, isn't it? Oh. And then scratch your thighs, and scratch your knees, and all the way down your shins to your ankles, and scratch your feet, and scratch your toes. Yeah, well done. And the goat's got fleas. My house is a squash and a squeeze. Wise old man, won't you help me please? My house is a squash and a squeeze. Wow. The wise old man said, hmm. Take in your pig. Ready? Ear to shoulder. Hmm. Take in my pig. What a curious plan. So, she took her pig. <laughs> Where are we? So she took her pig. Who honked at the hen? So we're going to come onto our hands and knees and then look behind at your pigtail here and bring your pigtail towards your shoulders and you're going to go like that. Be honked at the head and then we're going to go the other side. Ready? And again, ready? You two look behind, that's it. He honked at the head and then ate the food Again and again. So, ready? Eat all the food, that's it. And then we're going to rub our tummies and pat our heads at the same time. Can you do that? Rubbing our tummy, patting our heads, 
Mmm, all that yummy food. And then we're going to do the other side. So this hand now rubs the tummy and this hand pats the head. Mmm. He ate all the food again and again. Oh, the little old lady said, Stop! I implore! It was Titchy for three, well it's Teeny for four. Even the pig in the cupboard agrees. Bring your legs nice and wide, bring your arms over your head to make a cupboard shape. But my house is a squash and a squeeze. Wise old man, you can join in if you know the words now. Won't you help me please? My house is a squash and a squeeze. In a wise old man now, ready? Sitting up straight, looking very wise. Hmm, he said. Take in your cow. Ready? Ear to shoulder. Take in my cow. What a curious plan. Well, the cow took one look at took one look and then charged straight at the pit. So on our hands and knees, and we're gonna lift our cow head and our cow hide up to the ceiling and go and then round our back ready and and again ready. He took one look and charged straight to the pig. And then he jumped on the table. Ready? Jump! Jump! Big jumps as high as he can. Ready? Whee! Jump! And then he tapped out a jig. Ready? Tuck them. We're going to close our eyes for this because we're going to do it really gently. So close your eyes and just get little bits of your hair, quite fat bits, and just gently pull them and see how this makes you feel. Close your eyes and do it really gently. If you do it hard, it's going to hurt. So we're not doing that. We're just doing it really gently. Okay. And then open your eyes. I'm down on my knees. So, sitting on your feet, on your knees, and then we're going to come all the way down. Oh, I'm down on my knees and put your head to the floor. Wise old man, won't you help me, please? My house, up we come, ready, is a squash and a squeeze. Wise old man, won't you help me please? My house is a squash and a squeeze. Well, the wise old man said, Hmm, take them all out. Take them all out, but I'll be back to where I first began. So, she opened the window, ready, standing up, holding on to that window, and then big wide open arms opening the window, that's it, and out flew the hen, ready, oh, she said, that's better. 
better. At least I can sneeze again. She shooed out the goat. Ready? Come to the back of your mat, big step forward. And then get your hands. One, two, three. Take a deep breath in and beat. And again, big breath in and beat. And she shoved out the pig. Other foot forwards. Now bend that front knee. Here we go. Big breath in and. And big breath in and. And my house is beginning to look pretty big. Then she huffed and she puffed. So, sitting down, take a big breath in and then a big breath out, ready? Open your mouth and a big breath in and out, ready? And one more time, big breath in. And she pushed out the cow. Oh, just look at my house. It's enormous now. Thank you, old man, for the work you have done. It was wee for five. Make yourself a wee tiny. But it is gigantic for one. Big wide arms, big legs. And puff out your cheeks, ready? There is no need to grumble, <sighs> and there's no need to grouse. There's plenty of room in my house. And then she was filled with frolics and frilladies. Because her house wasn't a squash and a squeeze. The little old lady was filled with bricks and frilly peas because her house wasn't a squash and a squeeze. Well done, everybody. So, we're just going to do a little game before our relaxation. So, if you could get a piece of paper, run and get a piece of paper. <laughs> if you could get a piece of paper, we're going to pretend to tidy our rooms, okay? Because when we tidy our rooms, then our rooms look bigger, yeah? Okay? Especially when we're living all day in our house. We need to keep our house nice and tidy. So we're going to do a tidy game together. I want you to get a piece of paper. So get three pieces of paper, yeah? You got them? So run and get three pieces of paper. I'm going to show you what to do. We did this the other week, so some of you might know already. So get a piece of paper, and this is the fun part. Well, all of it's fun, actually. We're going to fold it in half, and then you're going to rip it in half, yeah? Like that, okay? It doesn't matter if it's a wonky rip. And then you're going to rip that bit in half, okay? So you've got four bits. <laughs> doesn't matter. And then rip it again. Like that, doesn't matter, mine went all wonky. And then with the bits, you're gonna screw them up into a ball like this, okay? So you get a little ball like this, okay? All right, like that, okay? So screwing up your bits of paper. It's really good fun, especially if you're feeling a bit like, ah. Okay, so screwing up your paper like that, making lots of mess. And when you screwed up your paper, you're going to put them all on the floor. I'm going to help my two. There we go. So parents or brothers and sisters can help once you've screwed up all the paper. Like that into little balls. Then you're going to put all these balls at... You ready, Jacob? Not that much. That's too small. Just lift. Just, <laughs> just listening skills, Jacob. Right, come on then. On your mat. Ready? So with your bits of paper and your balls, just leave those bits there, Jacob. Okay, I've got some here for you. All right, you're going to put all the balls to the top of your mat, okay? <laughs> okay, all right. So what you're going to do 
This is called toga, so it's good for strengthening our toes and good for fine motor skills and building up the strength in our feet. So we're going to get a ball with our toe. You can either, I'm going to show you the different grips, okay? You can either use your toes as pincers, so you bring the, um, the ball in between your big toe and your second, okay? But you're not using it, with, you're not using your hands at all. Or you can put it in here and sort of scrunch your toes around the ball, okay? All right, so let's start together, okay? At the top of your mat, you're not using your hands, remember? And you're gonna grab a hold of the ball with your toes, and then you're gonna come all the way around your back, bring your legs up, and then see if you can lift your bottoms off the floor, bring your toes over, okay? And you can either just drop it from here, your toes don't have to go all the way over, you can just drop it from here, or if you can, you can bring your toes all the way over to the top of your mat. Now, when you're doing this, guys, it's really important to not look anywhere apart from the ceiling. You have to look at your toes and the ceiling for your neck, okay? All right, so, ready? Let's have some fun and see if we can get all the balls from the top of our mats to the back, yeah? Okay? Okay, so, ready? Off we go. Ready? Off we go. Okay? Ready? All the way to the front. And then roll back again, get another one. All the way up. Keep going. That's it, grabbing it. If it doesn't go, try with the other foot. So Mike, make sure you do both feet all the way over. Jacob, you've got really little ones. It's a bit hard when you do little ones, so make sure you do them big enough that your toes can grip them. Oh, I know you can. You're very good, aren't you? So keep going, all of the balls. All the way from the front to the top. Woo! Okay. So, when you've done that, we are going to all have a nice relaxation now. So. If you want to get a blanket, please go and get a blanket, okay? And you're going to get yourselves nice and comfortable, okay? If you have an eye pillow or anything like that, which is like one of these, some, some people have them at home, nice eye pillow to put over your eyes, that's quite nice and relaxing too. If not, then you can cuddle up with your par any parents or siblings who you're with. And you're going to get yourselves nice and comfortable. I'm taking a deep breath in now. And a long, slow breath out. Taking a long breath in. And a long, slow breath out. One long breath in, and a slow breath out. You might find that you still have some wiggles in your body. So I'd like you to just wiggle your toes now. Give your toes a little wiggle. And now let your toes and your feet be really still. See how still you can make your feet and your toes. See if you have any wiggles left in your legs. So gently wiggling your legs. And then make your legs, your thighs, your calves and your knees. Still as you can. Now see if you can wiggle your hips from side to side. Get any wiggles out your hips. And then make your hips and your tummies still, soft, and relaxed. Now, we 
wiggle your shoulders and your arms and your fingers. Give them a wiggle. Shake them. Get all the wiggles out of your arms and your shoulders and your fingers. And then let your arms, your fingers, and your shoulders be still and relaxed. Now relax your face by first of all squeezing your face like a prune. So scrunch up your eyes, your lips, give your head a little wiggle, and then relax your face and your head. Your whole body is relaxed and still. Your whole body is relaxed and still. fingers and your toes. Stretch your body like a long piece of spaghetti. Bring your knees into your chest and give yourselves a big hug. And then slowly come to sitting. And as you sit up, bring your finger to your thumb and say the word peace. Your middle finger begins your forefinger with and your little finger knee. Ready? Peace begins with me. Peace begins with me. Big arms, ready? Love is over. Love is over. It's time to go. It's time to go. We have our learning. We have our learning. Let love grow. Let peace grow. Well done, Billy Yogi and Yogi. I hope you really enjoyed that. The squash and squeeze story. So we are back next week again for our Key Stage One Yoga Monday morning at 10 o'clock. If you really enjoyed that. Um, and you're an older one, you might like to join the Key Stage 2 tomorrow at 10, but there's also preschool yoga as well at 9 o'clock tomorrow for the littlies. Lots of songs for that one and nursery rhymes and things like that. So if this was a bit um, maybe not so so exciting for the littlies, then try that one as well. So there's lots of age appropriate yoga for you. If you really liked it as well and you did feel like you wanted to and can, you're in a final financial situation to donate and if you go on my page there's some donate buttons but you don't have to it's all offered for free okay thank you very much everybody and so lovely to see so many people joining in yoga this morning much love to you all have a lovely day
I gotta end the ball. Are you sure you want to end the stream, Annie?